Doomsday is upon us. Welcome everybody, my name is Matt, aka The Constant, and in this Fortnite video, we're gonna go over update 12.61, discuss the leaks, and uncover some secrets. If you're as excited for the Doomsday event as I am, give this video a like, hit subscribe while you're down there. I'll be live streaming the event when it goes live, so you won't wanna miss that. And without further ado, let's get into the information. Okay, so first off, the Storm the Agency challenges are now live. They will grant you a good amount of XP and give you some free rewards, so make sure you do those. Next off, if you log in, you will see you got some rewards for the Maya skin if you have the battle pack. This includes some additional variations for the specialist pickaxe and the backpack that goes along with Maya. The different camo variations make me want to give this pickaxe another try. Next up, we have Renegade Shadow now in the item shop, the new skin that was featured in the Storm the Agency loading screen. He has a bunch of different variations, both Ghost and Shadow. What role will he play in this event? And we also have the Storm the Agency loading screen that you can gift your friends and get gifted to you. Next up, I just want to quickly address the patch notes that were sent to people with a supported creator code. They state the Storm the Agency challenges will be coming to the game, they already have, and it also states PC controller adjustments. It states more controller adjustments incoming, we're keeping an eye on things and we'll keep you posted on new updates. Some people say that aim assist just got buffed with this update, some people are saying that it's getting balanced, what do you guys think? People are saying aim assist works at longer ranges now and maybe that means the short range is reduced in its effectiveness. I'm not sure. Regardless, I hope we find a good middle ground that puts no one at a huge disadvantage or an advantage based on what input you're using to play Fortnite. Next up, we've got a leaked skin, a cosmetic, and an emote. The leaked skin being Cyclo, Defy the Storm, and his back bling, the Wind Shear Cloak, wherever the wind blows. You can see the leaked emote being an Icon Series Blue, and yes, this emote, the Tusi Slide, is directly related to Drake. Check out the Tusi Slide right over there. It's a pretty cool emote and I can't wait to get my hands on it. This is Drake's first appearance in the world of Fortnite. It's an emote form, but does that mean that we can get a Drake skin in the future? Or that Drake and Fortnite can collab in the future? We'll have to see. Next up, we have a leaked loading screen. This loading screen has a secret or two if you look close enough. First off, if you look at the helmet of the suit that Midas is looking at, you can see what looks to be two eyes in the helmet's reflection. Some people are saying that the eyes look like the eyes of the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. It kind of does. I'm not sure how valid that is though, so I don't think it's a likely guess, but it is a fun thought nonetheless. Other people are saying that it looks like the eyes from the Lynx helmet, which is also a pretty good guess but the real secret is between Midas and the suit. If you look closely, you can see an image of a female between Midas and the suit, her reflection in the glass. This female looks like the female that's pictured on Midas' desk, described as the engineer. We still don't know the relationship between Midas and this female. We don't know if it's his daughter, if it's his wife, his lover, who knows? But the point is that she plays a pivotal role in all of this, in this season and maybe even next season. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this skin in next season's battle pass, but what do you guys think? Who do you think this mysterious female is and who is she to Midas? Next up, some news about storm circles being broken. As you can see in the picture, storm circles aren't closing as they should be. The first circle is closing slower and the circle is normally bigger while the second circle is smaller and it closes a lot quicker. This is undoubtedly linked to the story where Midas is trying to control the storm or trying to somehow manipulate it. So Fortnite might feel a little different for a few. It's a fun change though, just be careful out there. We also have updates to the swimming animations in Fortnite. We can see these animations thanks to Fort Tory on Twitter and these animations will probably be used in the event. On the off chance that we don't get to use these animations during the event and we're not put underwater, we will undoubtedly be able to use these animations animations for next season, being that it's a water-themed season. These next two images are also thanks to Fort Tory on Twitter, and they depict something being added underneath the agency. Could it be Midas' secret room with the Doomsday device? We're not sure. Hopefully we'll find out more during the event. I'm putting up some event cues that will happen during the event up on the screen now. If you don't want to look at them, don't look at them. And if you want to see them, they're right over there. These are also thanks to Fort Tory. Now that we have all this information, does your perspective of Midas change? In the past, I talked about Midas having bad intentions as he was building a Doomsday device in his room. 
but I could also see it as him having good intentions and maybe he's trying to rid the world of Fortnite from the storm forever. Did any of the information in this video change your perspective of Midas and what is your overall perspective of Midas? Let us know down in the comments. I want to see how many of you think Midas is a good guy, a bad guy, or neither. That's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and I'll need all your help to get there. Thank you for everyone who supports the channel and thank you everyone for watching. Again, I'll be live streaming the event on May the 30th. If you are confused as to when the event happens, just check your in-game countdown and that will give you the time of the event. Doomsday is rapidly approaching and I'll see you guys in the next one.